this video I'm going to show you how to make a custom ad for your website or your blog using your Amazon affiliate account. Now what I'm doing is if you go up here to product linking, this is where you're going to make your ad. So you can create a product link, you can grab banners, you can create native shopping ads, you can do a mobile popover, or you can link to any page. So we're going to go down here to native shopping ads. These are what are going to give you that grid-like effect or a list of products. And there's a few ways we can build this. Now in this video, I want to show you custom ads. So just click over here on custom ads. I'm going to do a real deal example because I was just making one and thought this would be great. Now down here, I have multiple codes set up for my various websites. So I am on my Keto Days website blog. So I'm going to pull down that code. And that way, when sales come in, I'll know which website they came from. And then here, I'm going to um, start with my products, and I'll show you the options. So select add products. Now, I want to do pink salt. I'm going to do some Himalayan salt stuff for a blog I'm doing. So with custom, what you do is you put in the keyword, and it gives you options, and then you get to choose what you want. Where with the general search ads, you're at the mercy of whatever appears related to that keyword. So this way we can pick what we want. So let's just say I want the, um, I'm going to do that bag of pink salt. And then I want the, oh, I like the, the salt shaker. And let's see, what else do we want? Um, pink salt water. Let me see if they have my Soleil water little jar that I want to put up there. Let me do this. Let me put Soleil water. There's this cute little Soleil water jar to make some salt water. Nope. Okay, so let me try this. Him Alayan salt jar. Okay, there we go. Now we got some rocks. Let me do the rocks. I can also go do the research and pull what I want and then drop them in here. Yeah, I would have to go look at what the name is to actually find it. Okay, so there's some salt chunks. Let me try that. Bear with me a second. I'm going to show you what this looks like after the fact. Oh, there we go. Okay, there's some more. There's some Himalayan salt. Okay, there we go. So now once you have at least four, they're going to show up here. Okay? So you create what you want there. Oh, there's another good one. Now I'm kind of finding what I was looking for. Okay, there it is. So there's, I've got this one. I've got this one. So this is how I make my... Soleil water, so I like those. Okay, so there we go. So once you get enough here that you actually want to have there, now you've got a few choices, okay? This view here is a grid. Now, the problem with the, having a grid is how it functions on mobile, that you're going to have, these are going to wind up going vertical, so you're going to have them stacked on top of each other. They look great, but the user has to scroll down through a lot of them. So normally, if I'm going to do this on a, a grid, I'm probably only going to do four because they're going to be stacked on top of each other unless I'm trying to target a full page of products. And then here you've got the option to have a list. And I mix these up. Sometimes I do a list. Sometimes I do, oh, shoot, I messed it up because I, I moved it over. So let's just let me just grab a couple more so I can show you what the list looks like. There we go. So you grab all the ones you want to put in your list, and now they show up like this. Okay. Now I'm testing these now. I'm going to do some feedback and let you know what I think is working out better. Um, I do like this concept very much. And then let me show you the strip. The strip is perfect for mobile. And what it does is it actually makes it a slider. So when the per person's on mobile, let me show you the mobile preview. They actually have a, a this, and then they can just slide through all of the products. So this is super, super mobile friendly. All right. So those are the options, and that is all you have to do. 
And then let me show you what it looks like. You know, I'm gonna grab the list so I can show you what it looks like. I'm, I wanted the list for this one. And I can do one, two, three, four products in my list. So I'm gonna do the salt shaker. I'm gonna do, I want the definitely want the salt jar that I had a second ago. I'm gonna do the Soleil water jar. I'll do the those and those. Okay, so once I have my four, I'm just gonna copy this code, highlight the code. Now I'm gonna go back to my blog. Let's see which blog was I on. Here it is, okay? Now I'm gonna find where I wanna put it. And I wanna put it right here. I have a block that's not working, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay, and I'm gonna, I am going to. wanna put this right under here. So what I'm gonna do here, if you're using WordPress Gutenberg, this is super easy. I'm gonna add a content block by clicking the plus, and I'm gonna put custom HTML. I'm gonna paste it right in there, and now watch the preview. Whoops. Oh, I did not copy something right. Hold on a second. That did not copyright. So let me try this again. I'm trying to paste a link in there. Okay, there we go. Preview. So now that you have the list, so up here you'll see I have um, I have the, let me show you the preview. So here I have a grid, I have a slider, and then here I have a list, and then usually at the very bottom is where I'll put in a, a grid, at the bottom of one of these um, sections here, I'll put in a grid at the bottom. So that's how you do custom ads using um, your, through your Amazon affiliate account. My name is Lori Ballin. Hey, check out um, my link in this video. I've got a link for Wealthy Affiliate Forum and you can join me in there. And um, when you join, I'll be able to see you. If you use that link, I'll see you uh, under my list and I'll be able to communicate with you there. Um, Wealthy Affiliate is a forum where we're all growing our affiliate businesses and learning together. And um, if you do end up using any of their paid tools, I do benefit when you use my link. They have a keyword tool, they have WordPress websites, um, they have domain registration. So I would love to see you over there in the Wealthy, Affi Wealthy Affiliate Forum and my link is in this post. My name is Lori Ballin. I earned six figures as an affiliate marketer and I love sharing my techniques with all of you.